All right, Claire, we're going to watch your video here coming forward as well. It's always good to have a couple different views of, uh, of your butterfly so we can see what it is we're seeing on each key. Now, again, one of the things we really like is we like how your arms are straight across the pool. That looks great. But just like we showed you on, on a previous video, too, you can see how your hands are pointing straight down. You want to turn those thumbs down and those pinkies up. Uh, one of the drills that we've done before with some of the younger kids, which may be good for you, is something we call the teacup drill. It's where you take your th thumb and your pointer finger and you make a little circle, almost like OK. And when you're doing it, you keep your pinky up and your thumb and your pointer finger down. And it kind of gets you the idea of how your hand should be going through that water. So let's really think about how we are recovering above the water. Coming across really, really well. All right, so this is the thing I started seeing that I didn't quite understand. Watch that wrist. And from the side, I saw something, but I didn't know what it is. But you can see right here, you curve that wrist almost like you're getting ready to try to grab onto something. Keep your hands and keep your wrists all in line with your forearms as best you can. Nice job of entering the shoulder width apart. I mean, so, that, so from the standpoint of work on your wrist a little bit, that's true. But you can see as we go backward, right here is your entering. You're right at shoulder width apart. Okay, so that's really good. Want to see that all the time. Um, good kick out there. You got to get your head down a little bit quicker too. So I think at this point maybe we are getting a little bit tired, and so I get it. Um, but you can see that your breathing needs to go down a lot faster. So oh, I didn't go back far enough. Hold on. There we go. Um, as you come here, you can see that you're breathing a little bit later now than what we had before. Earlier underwater, you were breathing early. Now, at this point, your hands are about to come out of that water, and you can see how late your breath is. There's your breath, and there come your hands. So you want to try to get that head up a little bit earlier. Why do you want to get your head up earlier? The earlier you get your head up, the earlier you're going to get it down. Okay, And so you've got to make sure your head is getting down a lot faster. You can see your hands are already entered in your head here, still above the water, and your hands are entering. So you got to work on getting that head down, okay? All right, we took a breath, that last stroke in the wall again. And again, on the underwater one, if I remember right, I thought you didn't breathe into your turn. The last couple of videos I saw, I saw you breathe in the wall. So work on not breathing into that turn. The other thing is your hands. Okay, left hand is touching the wall and the right hand is not yet there. So that's a non-simultaneous touch. It's so slight that, I mean, I'm only seeing it because we're going frame by frame slow motion. So I don't know if everybody's going to see it, but you do got to be careful. You do got to make sure that you are watching that hand um, touch the wall, both of them at the exact same time. I mean, you almost, wow, that's, you have fast hands. You're almost pulling this hand off when this hand is touching, which is impressive to be honest with you. Yeah, look how quick that is. All right. Now, the other thing is right away you start to turn your head away from your hand. Remember, we want you watching that hand the entire time. We want you to watch it slide right behind your ear even. You can see here when you're out to the side, you're never really looking at your hand. And one of the reasons we work on pushing off the wall the way we do is because we want you guys to get in the same habit of watching that hand slide behind your head. You can see that your hand entered here and is fighting this way, which will help you get in a good streamline. But if you slide it right behind your head, you're already in a good streamline. Same thing with two dolphin kicks. So you are consistent, Claire. You're always going to be good with those two dolphin kicks. But you know we want six, so we're going to keep working on six. And I know you're not going to breathe off the start, are you? Oh, you did. Darn it. I thought for sure you were going to hold still. Okay. So in the first video I saw... Good job of not breathing in or out of the wall. The second video I saw, I saw you breathe into the wall but not off the wall. This video I saw here, I saw you breathe into the wall and off the wall. Keep in mind, don't breathe in or out of your walls. Okay? Great job, Claire. You're awesome. These are all things I know are easily fixed, and uh, we'll make sure to stay on top of it for you.